Hi guys and welcome to 123 Maya T's video where we take a look on how to clean the iRobot Roomba. Okay guys, so recently I did an unboxing of the iRobot Roomba and I wanted to go ahead and do a video which shows you basically how to clean the iRobot Roomba. So when I talk about cleaning, I am talking about the weekly clean that you will need to do. So there is the emptying of the tray. So you do the emptying of the tray and that's a daily thing or that is after every time you run the iRobot. But there is also the weekly clean and you should actually go through and clean the other parts of the Roomba and I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so first thing you need to do is empty the bin. So the bin is the tray that sits at the back of the Roomba. And you'll need to do this, you'll need to empty this every time uh, you use the, the Roomba. But also once a week, you need to open up this part here and take out this filter. All right, you can see there's two little yellow uh, attachments on either side. You just kind of push those in and take that out. All right, and so once a week, you'll need to actually clean this out and they recommend that you actually change this every two months. So after two months of use, uh, you'll need to probably get rid of this one. But obviously it depends on how much you use the device as well. If you only ever use the RoboVac once in two months time, then you probably won't need to change it. But if you use it every day for, uh, in two months, then you might need to change that. Also, if you have pets, you might need to clean the filter twice a week. So you might need to check it a little bit more often. And one last thing I should mention, if you need to buy new filters, I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, so the next thing we're going to clean here is these brushes. So you'll need to just press these tabs and then lift. And that will lift this back. And then you'll just pull out the brushes like so. So you lift one side up and pull it out this way. And if you look closely, we've got, you know, some dirt around the ends here and a lot of hair along here, which you'll need to clean off. Then this uh, little yellow thing on the end comes out, like that, okay, just slides off. And then just clean any hair that would have got caught around here off as well. All right, place it back on. Now I'll put some links in the description below to buy these uh, brushes. Brushes you'll need to replace probably about every six to 12 months. Same deal with this one. So it just pops out as well. And then you've got your dirt around the ends just clean that off clean your your wipers here and you can also use the robot cleaning tool if you need to get hair off or cut hair or anything like that you can use this just to flick the hair out and then cut it off at the ends like so and then just put your brushes back and you're ready to go one other thing you don't have to do but I do anyway is just give the chamber a bit of a vacuum out and get any of the dust that's where the where the brushes might be so. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to clean here is the front caster wheel and you just need to lift it out like so and the whole thing comes out. You'll need to clean this every two weeks and you'll need to replace it probably every 12 months. Just check if there's any debris caught around the wheel and then you can also pop out, you can also pop out the wheel like so. Just comes out and just clean out any hair that gets stuck around the wheel here and then pop it back in and then all you need to do is just put it back in where you pulled it out from all right the next thing to change here is this side wheel so you're going to need to just hold onto it there and unscrew it and then it should just pop out like so and give that a bit of a clean it's not too bad at the moment but then you'll see there's also this hair that gets caught just around the base of the brush so once that's done just pop it back on and screw it back into place okay the last thing to clean is just the uh, two points here the two charging points and the four sensors that are around the top of the Roomba so I'm just going to use a tissue you can use like a, a dry cloth just give them a little polish up and make sure the sensors are clean and clear and that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If this was a helpful video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.